Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another my videos. Here we guys the top five Shindo Life updates that have happened to this game so far. Now I need to note that I only started playing this game ever since update 36, which was the yin and yang update. Any update before that I do not know and it will not be included on this list, even if it was better, simply because I did not play the game during that time period. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more. Also, feel free to comment what you guys think was the best update in Shindo Life in the comments below. I'm actually very curious to know and just feel free to do that. Let's get right to the video, guys. Number five is actually going to be the Kenjutsu update. Now, the Kenjutsu update was a big one for me simply because the Kenjutsu update is when they introduced a new thing to the game. Now, another thing that happened actually happened in the Kenjutsu update is in the Kenjutsu update, they actually changed the icons of the Tailed Beast. Now, I feel like this was actually a very big update for the game simply because not only did they just change icons within the game which was which was a pretty cool thing that they actually did but i also believe that the kajitsu's being added to the game opened up a lot of new features that they could possibly add simply because they from this the devs learned that adding an entirely new feature to the game actually helps and it does make the game more expansive overall number four is going to be the element bloodline equipable to element slots update now in this update the fate stage two were actually introduced and this is also a major impact in the game because before this fates only had one stage nothing else passed that it was only one stage which was the first ability of the fate and that's what they were limited to now i think this update was massive because it made bloodlines that were otherwise never would be used they made it into bloodlines that were actually very powerful simply because now they have now they have three bloodline slots that are completely available while also simultaneously being able to use these abilities now I feel like this was a very important update simply because I, I I do enjoy combos in this game and things like that. And having bloodlines equipable to your element slots does expand the amount of combos you can make significantly. And not only that, but it does make a lot of other abilities a lot better. And also that just did 70k for some reason. Now number three is actually going to be the event update. Now in my opinion, the event update, which was actually Diva Ren, this is Forge Ren if you guys do not know. But Diva Red, I feel like the event update was absolutely massive for the game because it does introduce a lot of new things that they could do in the game. Now, from the first event update, they can now use the system that they put in place for every event in the future and make the game a lot more immersive overall for the player base and people playing it. And it does also give people a lot better things to do in this game than just grind 24-7. Because now with events, they can just go grind, try to get bloodlines and all that stuff. And overall, the events, in my personal opinion, are one of the single best updates in the game because you know updates are always cool and i feel like it was very very hyped now number two is going to be the ryan ren update now the reason why the ryan ren update is going to be at number two is simply because i feel like the ryan ren update was the single most hyped update in shindle life history this update had the single most amount of people actually on youtube at the time i know that sounds kind of crazy but during this update period um, they actually made did this update around 11 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. It was like 11 or 12 p.m. at night that they actually did this update. Now that actually was insane for the. I I don't really understand why they released it that late, but this update was the single most hyped update in Shindo Life history. And not only that, but it was a very very hyped Bloodline as well, simply because it was Sasuke. Sorry if I said that wrong, but it was one of the most popular characters from Naruto. It was one of his new hit one of his new abilities and all that stuff which is always cool to the game and it did also introduce a bunch of new abilities to the game such as the teleporting iframe move the pool that is also an iframe which actually destroyed the game for a bit and this and the third ability which was a genjutsu which is also an entirely new thing to the game at the time because it was a zero hand side genjutsu now i feel like ryan ren was probably one of the most important updates in shinder life history because it showed how hype can make an update so successful this this update was i i would have to guess i know i don't have the statistics of like how much they made and stuff like that but this has to be one of the most successful updates of all time because everyone wanted ryan ren ryan ren everyone wanted it everyone almost had it at the time and ryan ren was so hyped and so hyped for so long it was like weeks it was hyped for that as soon as it came people got it at first, people thought it was garbage and stuff like that, but then after about a week, people realized just how busted this KG was and just how much of an impact this KG has made to the game. Now, I feel like this was a very important update for the, the reasons I previously said, but I also feel like it was an important update simply because it was the first update where they actually added a new Z-Spec Bloodline specifically for the sole purpose of being a Z-Spec Bloodline. Now, I feel like that was an, that was an insane... that I feel like that was just an insane, mind-blowing thing for them to do because... They made this bloodline. This was this was the first bloodline they made with the intention of putting it in the element slot, which it does actually support its kit very well. It is a support bloodline. 
Now, honorable mention one is going to be the first boss droppable bloodline. I know I actually did say the event update previously, but that was not the same update that they actually dropped Diva Ren. Diva Ren wasn't dropped until a week after, until the next update after. So that's why this is going to be an honorable mention, because it's not really an entirely new update on its own, but it was game changing because I feel like this was one of the best updates when it came to like the longevity of the game. Because now that they made bloodlines that you have to actually kill a boss for, it actually changes the game quite drastically because before you would always be able to spin for things and you'd be able to just grind spins beforehand. But once Diva Run was released, people realized that they would not just be able to just grind spins to get the new KGs in the game. And I feel like overall it was an extremely good change. But I feel like Diva just kind of takes a little bit too long to kill. That's really my only... That's really the only thing I don't like about the update. Honorable Mention 2 is actually going to be the Baron update. Now, I feel like the Baron update was extremely important for the game because this was just, this was also one of the most hyped updates in the game and also added like chat functions to the game and stuff like that, where you could type in the chat to change things actually in the game, which led on to Forged actually being in the game. But yeah, Tetasayan overall, just the mode, it kind of breaks the game at the moment and overall was just an overpowered, completely busted thing that was added to the game at the time and just because of the sheer impact that the sign has actually has on the game now i feel like that update was extremely important for the game and it was actually a massive update to earn its place on the honorable mentions number one is obviously going to be the shindai update now there's actually a lot of reasons why shindai is the one of the is personally my favorite update in the game and one of the most important updates actually in shindo life now not only was shindai the most busted bloodline on release ever if you guys think shindai is op now or op a week ago before it got nerfed just think at one point shindai was 50 times better no joke it was 50 times better at one point that's how insane shindai was on release it was the most busted bloodline on release ever not only that but the shindai update was actually one of the biggest like um bloodline updates because shindai just it added a lot of new abilities to the game such as the sasano clones and added the Meteor, which was a massive AoE block break, add the Sunflower move, which added like a new Genjutsu actually after an effect, and also added the weapon specs being procced on clones. Now, the reason why this was also such a big impactful update is because I feel like Shindai kind of set the bar for KGs to not release in this game. I feel like Shindai just has created such a terrible impact, as in like the meta of this game, that Rel ever since has been avoiding releasing another Shindai. I don't mean releasing another Shindai literally as in releasing another Shindai. I just mean releasing a KG that's as good as Shindai or better. Because Shindai on release just was very unfun for the game. And even though it did carry on its legacy throughout the game as being the most busted on release KG ever, I feel like in the future there might be one in case Rel doesn't actually like check the KG or anything like that. They've been they've been doing a good job recently, but like Shindai just kind of changed the game in a way of KGs being released because now before it's released they actually test it properly and test a bunch of things and make sure it doesn't it's not going to absolutely break the game and that's just why uh, that's just a lot of the reasons why i feel like shinai was the best update and one of the most impactful in shinto life history anyways guys that's gonna actually be it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe like for more obviously next one guys bye bye